Islam, Islam, Islamism. Praise Allah. Honors to his holy and illustrious prophet, Prophet Nova Ali. Honors to the forerunner of the prophet, Marcus Messiah Garvey, who did indeed pave the way for the coming prophet and said, Up, up, ye mighty race, accomplish what you will. I want to give honors to Deuce Muhammad Ali. I want to give honors to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, who did indeed demonstrate the essence of Islam here in the wilderness of North America. I want to give honors to the brother, man, and friend, brother Kenyu Umar Bey, Supreme Grand Sheik for the grand body that I am under the leadership of. Today is a brief, brief, uh, uplifting lesson, or encouragement rather, about the word participation. Many of us uh, do not understand that it's not about what your country will do for you, uh, but what will you, you right there, yes you, what you will do for your country. So instead of using the uh, uh, JFK reference, I'm going to change the perspective to the Asiatic organizations, so-called black organizations that exist here in the United States of America. It's not about what RBG organization can do for you. It's about what you can do for the RBG organization. It's not what the Hebrew Israelite organization can do for you. It's what you can do for the Hebrew Israelite organizations. It's not what the Nation of Islam can do for you and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan can do for you. It's about what you can do for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam and the Fruit of Islam and the, the Sisters of MGT, if I say that correctly. It's not about what Mubadr Ali and uh, the sheiks and the grand sheiks and the grand governors and governors and chairmen ETC can do for you. It's what you, what you, right there, sitting on the couch, watching the video, or not doing anything, it's what you can do for the more science of America. And the reason I say that, even oh, even a better one, it's not what the imam at the masjid can do for you it's what you can do for the imam and at the masjid and the the muslim brothers and sisters at your congregation and your umma it's not what the uh, the pastor or the bishop or the preacher can do for you it's what you can do for the pastor the bishop and the priest because it's about participation you can't be a follower of a teaching if you're not doing the teaching you can't speak or profess to know of something if you can't do it yourself. Now, not everyone is perfect, but I think in our imperfection or in our perfectness, because we were made perfect, and in our perfectness, we can be imperfect, but that is no excuse to be lazy. That's no excuse to, to have the insufficiency of knowledge. Because we all have knowledge. We all have wisdom. We all have understanding of some capacity. So therefore we have to employ it. As Brother Kenyu says. Brother Kenyu Bay says. Employ it and thou art wise. Be wise and thou art happy. So therefore we have to be participants. In what it is that we want to be a part of. Participate with the part that you want to be about and speak about. These things are very important. And we will never get anything done in any aspect of anything if you don't participate. No marriage will be a great marriage without the participation of 100% of 100% of both sides of the parties. No relationship will be successful if both parts are not participating their part 100%. We have to participate. We have to be a, play a part in the role that we play. We have to. It's obligation. And therefore, there's a mutual reciprocal obligation. These are called essence of a social duty that we must play. It's very vital. It's very important. And because it's so important, I'm going to share just a portion of the social duties that we are to demonstrate to men and women.
coming out of the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America. Social duties. It says, when thou consider thy wants, when thou beholdeth thy imperfections, acknowledge his goodness, O son of humanity, who honored thee with humanity, endowed thee with speech, and placed thee in society to receive and confer reciprocal helps and mutual obligations, protection from injuries, thy enjoyments of the comforts and the pleasures of life. All these thou oweth to the assistance of others, and couldst not enjoy but in the bands of society. So everyone plays a role. Everyone is to participate. And it's even better to say this another way. It is better to oblige than to be obliged. In other words, it's better to obligate yourself with your own will, what you want to give, what you want to share. What is your skill that you have? Not what John, Billy, and Sue, and Rachman, and Ahmed, and Latresa, and Patricia, and Carlos, and Louisiana, and ETC. All the people that we are talking about. What about you? You right there. Yes, you. Yeah, I'm being corny. But why are you not doing anything? Why do I have to make a video because you don't want to participate? Why is that? Why do you not want to participate? Think about that. Why is it? Why do you feel the, the essence or the, the quintessence of the lack of participation? Why is that? Why don't you get up? Levantase, as my teacher would say in Spanish. Levantase, get up and participate. Because when you participate and you get others to participate, there's a bigger whole that we all can be a part of. And it's a blessing. No matter what organization that you're a part of, now, no matter what you identify yourself as, regardless of what you do, whatever it is, the NAACP, the tri uh, AAAS, the, um, uh, what else are there? Uh, let me think. I I'm slipping the tongue. You got, uh, yeah, the NAACP, the AAAS, the, uh, the churches, the masjids, the temples, the synagogues, the, the, um, other organizations, you have to participate. You have to participate. So with that, I come in love and I leave in peace. Islam.